Hello and welcome to my review of the Rattel RT900. It's an intriguing 8 watt radio that transmits on HF, CB, VHF and of course UHF. In this video I'll be going over my overall impression of the radio, transmission, reception, programming, power output and the negatives. I've already done an unboxing and first impression video, I'll link it in the description. The first thing you notice about the radio is the screen and just how light it is despite the large battery. Build quality is good, uh, though perhaps not as good as some of the more expensive radios such as the Anytone 878, but at this price point it is perfectly acceptable. In fact, it's just as well made as the TID Radio H8. The screen itself is bright, it's got excellent contrast and outside readability is good as well. The one slight problem I have with the display is that you can't turn it down. I like keeping display on on all my radios and the default brightness on this radio is a bit too bright for my liking. Uh, the other problem is that you can't turn the, the backlit keyboard off. Um, I do hope they release a new firmware that will let you turn the brightness down and perhaps turn the backlight off altogether. On the left hand side of the radio you have the PTT button and two programmable buttons. The third button however can only be programmed for short press, no long press option. On the other side we have a Kenwood style headphone jack port and here on the bottom we have Type-C charging port. I don't think it's a true USB-C charging port though because if I take this USB-C to USB-C charging cable which is connected to a power delivery charging brick this radio will not charge. You need a USB Type-A to Type-C cable to charge this radio. In comparison if I take the TID Radio H8, which also has got a Type-C port on the battery and plug this charger in, it will charge just fine. And lastly, on top you have the power and volume knob and right next to it, my favourite, a VFO knob. This takes the frequency up and down based on the step you choose in the menu and the step goes down to 2.5 kilohertz. Would have been nice if it went down to 0.5 kilohertz, but it's okay at this price point. You rarely see VFO knobs on budget radios, so it's a thumbs up for me. The battery life is quite good as well. I've been testing it for a week and I've only had to charge it once. It all depends on usage of course, but I doubt you'll ever have to charge it every day. Now, let's see if it can actually transmit on HF and CB like it claims to. So it does seem to transmit on those bands, but I don't recommend using it as your primary HF rig. It's also capable of transmitting between 840 and 999 MHz. I did a quick test on 868 MHz to confirm that it actually works, and it does. This radio is advertised as an 8 watt radio. I've got my power meter set up here to see if it actually gets up to the claimed 8 watts. I will be testing 70 centimeter band and 2 meter band at high power. I don't think I want to test the medium and low power output because I'm quite curious to see if it actually gets up to uh, 8 watts. So let's try 70 centimeter band first. 6.3, 6.4. Let's move on to 2 meter band. Power is set to high, 6.6. .6. So 6.3, 6.6, which is not bad, um, but it's not really the um, 8 watts it says on the tin. 
just for the purpose of testing, I'm going to try it on 446 megahertz. Power is set to high. Seven watts. So it's actually putting out more power on PMR than it did on UHF or VHF. Hmm, interesting. Programming this radio is easy. You can either use Bluetooth or you can use the CPS software that you can download from the Rattel website. Or you can use Chirp. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to do it with Bluetooth. They've got apps for both Android and iOS on their website. I've got an Android phone, so I downloaded the Android app and installed it. Once installed, you have to make sure the location is on and then you click the blue connect button that will help you connect to your radio. You can then press the purple read button to read the radio as I am doing now. And this shows you what you've already got on the radio. There are three tabs at the top. The channel one lets you program all your channels. And it's just like any other CPS really. You can program TX RX frequency, set the TX power. You can also go into the optional features tab, which lets you change your radio settings. Things like squelch level, uh, bandwidth, how long to keep the display on for, etc. and etc. You'll then have to save those changes as a profile. You can't simply just write to the radio. So what you do is save the profile, go back to the home screen to choose that profile, and then you hit the write button. It's slightly convoluted, but it works. And it's the convenience of having Bluetooth programming, really. I can live with that extra step. So what do I think of this radio? I think it's a very good radio especially considering the price, you're getting HF CB transmission out of the box. Unlike on a UVK5, for example, you would need to install a custom firmware to enable airband or transmission on HF or CB, for example. The screen is really good. Build quality is good. Battery life is good. Reception is excellent. In fact, on one occasion, it was better than my Quanching EVK58, uh, which is high praise, in my opinion. The, the, the quality of, of reception audio is especially good as well. It's almost as good as my Anytone 878, which I think is high praise. Have I noticed any issues? Um, not really. Um, slight niggles, perhaps. One is that you can't turn the backlight keyboard off. You can't turn the brightness down and um, the HF and CB transmission, in my opinion, is more of a gimmick than anything else. But those features do come in handy, especially when you're, when, when you're testing. Imagine you've just installed the Exuma firmware on your Quansheng and you want to test reception. You can use this radio to test that. Imagine um, you've installed the IJB firmware on your Quansheng and you want to test HF transmission, you can use this radio to do that. So if you're very new to this hobby and you want to explore, this is a very good contender. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching.